Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Ace Money here. Today's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Today's God's Day. The day we pray to God that these bets cash. Can I get a cash bet? Cash bet, hallelujah. More money to you. Nah, I'm playing. But uh, I've been dying to say that. Today's, uh, it's actually Saturday night. These are for Sunday's games. Three games on the slate. Uh, game one. Dream Liberty, uh, 1, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Might be televised. Probably will be televised. Check out these lines quick. We got uh, plus 13 and a half for the Dream. Opened up, at, moved up a little bit. 14, 14 and a half. Over on the 163 and a half. Jumped up a few. 167. Could find it as low as 165. Uh, plus 700. It's up and down, plus 800. You can still find it at plus 6, 650. Minus 1100, minus 12. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, second game, Lynx versus Sky. 3 p.m. Minus 3.5, we opened up at. Jumped all the way up to minus 7. Uh. Over on them, moved a little bit, 162.5 to 163. And uh, links to the favorite, minus 166. They opened that. They all the way down to minus 258, 280. All over. Line shot, line shot, line shot. Wonder why that moved like that. And this fever game stayed the same. Plus seven. Fevers of Dogs versus Mercury uh, stayed the same. Over on the jumped up like two, three points. Started at 169.5. We got it up to 174. Plus 260. Kind of stayed the same. Wonder why this dream game jumped. Uh, not the dream game, I mean the Lynx game. But, uh,. Let's get into these player props. Ace money the name and paper the game. Alright, so my first play, I got uh Sabrina Isenuk, rebounds and assists over eleven and a half, minus one hundred thirty six Vandal. Was playing her assists for a while, but now that Vandersloot's back, uh I decided to put them both together. She does good on both. Last game, she got 10 rebounds, 4 assists. Game before that, 11 rebounds, 3 assists. Game before that, 5 and 9. So, uh, you know, it's not, it's one or the other. It's both. Uh, Atlanta's 10th in rebounds allowed. There's only 12 teams, so they're almost last. They're 7th in assists, so that's middle of the pack. We already know she's playing plenty of minutes. Succeeded 11 and a half rebounds and assists in four of the last five games versus the bottom five defense. I'll break it down even further. Uh, three days rest. Home games, because they're playing home. And we're still looking good. So I know 11 and a half is a high number, but if she got six assists, you know, uh, Six rebounds, seven assists, five rebounds. But uh, I like to. It's the only thing I really seen on, on that slate uh, that I can play. You could play her rebounds alone. You got it like four and a half, five and a half, I think. But uh, this is what I'm going with. I'll give you guys everything I bet. Nothing I don't. Nothing I won't. So uh, we got eyes in here with point, uh, rebounds and assists. Next so, up, we're going back to my girl, Kennedy Carter. Points over 16 and a half. Almost cleared this by halftime last, last time we played the last game. Uh, Jeff Kings, FanDuel, got it kind of at the same, 125, 128. 
Um, always, if you go out line it back, you guys already know, do that. Uh, <clears throat> they're not letting you. Well, you can, but it's at 14 and a half and minus 220. I only bet $25 a play, so it doesn't work. Yeah, that's my unit size, 25 a play. Uh, it's looking decent in the last four games. Easily cleared it. I don't, I'm not going to say easily, but it was easily done. You know, she's been balling real well. Uh, last five games, 80% hit rate. I'm sure it says something down there. Uh, problem we might have, though, points allowed for uh, Minnesota, the second in points allowed. But the thing is, Carter's a scorer for Chicago. So regardless, maybe the points ain't going to be as high, but she's going to get her points. There's no head-to-head -head games the first time they're playing. Uh, switches to home games, the last three home games. She's cleared this 19, 23, and 20. She's shooting, uh, you know, games are getting more important now. We're getting we're like halfway done with the season. Shooting 55% from the field. Anyone shooting 55% of the field, you know, I'm rocking with them. Uh, she don't shoot threes. And uh, free throws, she's 80%. She's getting about three a game. She's making about seven shots a game. So she's right at her average. But, you know, a little trend in the last, like I said, the last couple games, she's been doing well. So I'm going to continue to rock with her until she proves me otherwise. So we got Kennedy Carter over 16 and a half points. All right, next up, Bridget Carlton. Uh, over two and a half threes, plus 120. Plus money, plus money, right? Look at that, last 10 games, 7 out of 10. Uh, you know, three points allowed, uh, ranked third, Chicago. But... Uh, she puts up threes. That's what she does. <laughs> averaging uh, five, and she's making three. That's what she's averaging. So she's, you know, she's averaging three. And so we needed a hit. Should be able to go over it. Stats look good. Stats look good. Way games. Bam, last three away games. She's hit this. I liked it, I liked it. Uh, plus money plays. Like I said, my unit size is only 20, I say only $25. I bet every day, all day, you see how many bets I place. So, uh, but it's just, it's, it's what works for me, uh, you know? So, it, sometimes with plus money plays, I bet a little less. I don't like really jacking on my unit size, but, uh, this one I, I did do a full unit, but if you if you're betting more money, make sure you you know if you have to do a half unit, do a half unit. This way, on a plus money play, you went on a half unit, you know it's still a good value. But uh, usually, plus money plays are harder to hit. That's the only reason why I say that. But uh, I'm not picking a play that I don't believe is going to hit. So whether I'm betting $25 or $125, I still got the same belief in it. Looks good. Uh, she's hitting it. She's shooting well. And that's all she shoots is threes. So let's hope she, let's hope she hits it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm up and down with it. I don't know what to do. Uh, Angel Reese over 11 and a half rebounds, minus 130. Got it up to 140, so definitely line shop like always. Have multiple books. Uh, firm believer in that. You look at one book, it has it at one number. You look at another book, it has it at another. As you even seen on here, FanDuel got it at two numbers. So even on your book, look around. But uh, I was going to play your points, and I was going to do points and rebounds. 
I like her rebounds at like 10. But uh, Minnesota's last place in rebounds allowed. So Angel Reese, we all as we all know, she's a good rebounder. She's exceeded 11 and a half for the last five games, averaging 14 and a half. So easily clearing that, but uh, should easily go over this by third quarter. I don't have a doubt in my mind. I just didn't know if I wanted to play her points, but uh, I ended up selecting the rebounds. The rebounds, the rebounds, the rebounds. Uh, Minnesota is shooting. They shoot pretty well, too. They're all pretty close, 42%. But uh, should easily be done. Uh, her double double is at minus two twenty, so you know she's getting at least ten. And look at it, fourteen, thirteen, eighteen, sixteen. So she'll go over this, no doubt in my mind. Angel Reese rebounds over eleven and a half. All right, so. Next up, this is for the Indiana Phoenix game. Uh, I like the way she played last time. We got Son in common. We're both in the prison. <laughs> Brittany Garner. Rebounds of a seven and a half. Uh, minus 128 at FanDuel. 130 DraftKings. Um, she got 11 last game. She's been, you know. She's getting a groove back. She's been out for a little bit. I think she was hurt. And, uh, yeah, she started the, the 7th, June 7th. So she did pretty good. Then she missed a couple. But, uh, she was back up yesterday. And, uh, I just feel like she's going to be too big for, uh, for Boston. Uh, I think her name's Aaliyah Boston on, on, uh, Indiana, and uh, <clears throat> field goal percentage-wise, Indiana's 44.2%. They're fourth in the league, and Mercury's 42.5%. they are 11th, so uh, we're missing some shots. I just figured, you know, she's out there big. She's working it, and uh, she'll go over this. I was thinking about playing her points, too. She had a decent amount of points last game. But uh, you use your judgment. I just figure rebound is easier. Number seven and a half. If Angel Reese is maybe grabbing 12, why can't this girl get seven and a half, right? Different game. They're not playing each other. I'm just saying. So, yeah, Brittany Garner, seven and a half rebounds. Last five games, 60%. She's 60% for the year. Playing about 30 minutes. So, uh, I mean, her average is down because of these low numbers here. But she wasn't playing the right minutes there either. So, that's why it's saying average in six. So, you go over it. Brittany Garner rebounds. All right. I'd like to take this time and ask you if you could like the video. For uh, new viewers, please subscribe. Everyone turn the notifications on. This way you get my live bets, you get my videos, you get my little notes and tidbits, uh, updates, anything. I'll drop in the community, you get them. Uh, try to be as transparent as possible. You get everything I do. Um, as well as if you could comment, likes and comments help get the videos out there. As well as some feedback, anything, let me know what's up. How you doing? You like, you don't like, what I should change, anything. Uh, appreciate everyone. Let's keep it moving. I got uh, Diana Terezi points over 16 and a half. We're double dipping again. Played this last game. She crushed it. Uh, shooting 42% from the field, 37 from three. 91 from the foul line. She succeeded 16 and a half points, five straight games versus the bottom five defense. I just feel like with her veteran, uh, I like the matchup. Her veteran uh, mindset, her skill, she's a baller going against this young Indiana team. I don't think they'll be able to handle her. Uh, 
expecting like 20, 22. Um, you can break it down a little further. Head to head, 75%, but that's not this year. If we go home games with one day rest, like they're on. hit it the last four times so uh, it's actually 100% for the year so that goes back into last year so gain home gains off one day's rest she's 100% this year and like I said uh, Indiana's 12th their last place in points allowed and it's a reason a beast as it is so it seems like easy money hopefully hopefully it is let's get it let's get it let's get it Minus 115 points over 16 and a half. Uh, the lines are the same everywhere. Pretty rare. Missed this last game. She's hit this uh, seven out of the last 10. Phoenix is ninth in points allowed. Shooting 50% from the field, 44% from three. Uh, 86. Tied 86 from a uh, foul line, 16, 16 and a half, five of the last six, averaging just about 20. So if all goes right, she should go over this, you know, some of the main scorers on there. I think she might be the points leader, actually, on Fever. She's a good hooper, you know, just missed the last game. I'll give her another shot. It's all about consistency, people. Play it again. 80% last five. That's 20, 60%. But uh, for the year, she's 60%. So we'll give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. All right. I appreciate everyone. It's late. Sorry. I just wanted to get this out before uh get some time. This way it's not late tomorrow. I appreciate everyone. Ace money to name you and paper to game. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.